Let's move to the legislative chambers now. After an annual recess that lasted almost two months, the House of Representatives resumed plenary on Tuesday. The Speaker of the House, Femi Wajabi Amila, while urging all committees to resume legislative businesses, equally asked the adult committees to hand over the standing committees. Our correspondent Chris E.K. reports that the Speaker also noted the need for early passage of the Petroleum Industry Bill. Here's Grace's report. Nearly two months ago, the House of Representatives went to recess to end the old legislative calendar. Lomikas are back and almost full green chamber indicates their readiness to resume with all cylinders firing. The first business for Speaker Gwajabia lines to instruct all other committees constituted before the House went to recess to hand over to standing committees for further legislative impute. All ad hoc committees will wind up and hand over to standing committees by September 30th. Hopefully, the petroleum industry bill referred to in some quarters as the Methuselah bill will see the light of the day before the expiration of the Ninth House. I believe that we in this Ninth Assembly are ideally suited to surmount the obstacles that have mitigated against passage of this essential reform legislation, which is important if we are to properly address and the structural, operational and policy changes and inefficiencies in that industry. Another priority is to lighten the load of Nigerians with the reintroduction of the debate on overestimated billions in the part sector. In addition to the petroleum industry bill, we will seek the reintroduction of the bill prohibiting estimated billing in the power industry. As expected, the incessant xenophobic killings of Nigerians in South Africa is a subject for discussion. Speaker Bojabi Amila, who speaks with so much passion, is reaffirming the commitment of the House to pursue compensation of persons involved. So much promises have been made. Nigerians now wait to see if the lawmakers will make good on their words. From the National Assembly, Grace Ike, STV News.